Good evening. Hello. How are you doing? I'm... I might be improving. Let's say that. I might be improving. So I had a big surprise at work today. Um, in the middle of the afternoon, with like a good two hours left, someone called out, Hey! Fight, uh, fight's on. Do you want any beer? I was like, what, like now? <laughs> someone at the company had just bought a bunch of beer. Like, like crates, like those those crates of beer, like bottles of beer. And like, oh, we well, this beer was very very cheap. We bought it. Um, would you like would you like some? It's a hundred yen a bottle. Which is like, okay, I'm not sure why you bought all this beer if you expected to sell it to me. Are you making money off this deal? Are you trying to get rid of beer you didn't want? But ultimately, giving me a bottle of beer, a hundred yen a bottle is it's a pretty nice deal. So <laughs> I went over and I, I wanted to buy some. And, you know, I made my good joke, like, oh, do you take credit cards? Because there was, like, dozens of bottles of beer. So, anyone, good good laugh at that one. Uh, cash only, of course. And I'm, okay, well, do you have any change? Because all I had was a thousand yen bill. And like, well, I only have 200 yen, so would you like eight? And I was like, <laughs> okay, look, I do drink beer, but I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to take eight bottles of beer right now. We're going to carry eight bottles of beer. That's a lot of beer. Uh, you know, because I can't just leave it at work. You know, there's no room in the fridge for beer for like my per own personal opinion. Although I must say, it would be nice one day to just walk out of work and have a beer as I go home. But I don't think that's an image they want to see me walk out of the building having a beer. <laughs> anyway, I got some change. I bought four bottles of beer, you know, lucky number four, and brought it home. And whatever, it's in the house now. It'll be fine. It's not particularly exciting beer. It's just a regular, you know, Asahi Super Dry. But, hey, 400 yen, that's well enough beer to get me through an entire evening of fun. So, But it was on my mind because today more news came out of Tokyo. I know, Tokyo. Bleh, but they are really going hard on Halloween this year. It's funny. When I got to Japan in 2000, well, yeah, 2005, well, I guess... 2005, I was a student. But yeah, at that point, Halloween was kind of this thing where people talked about it. Students talked about it. Mostly like people who weren't Japanese talked about it. There were a lot of emails and warnings telling people not to have a party on the train. I guess there used to be a thing where people would take parties on the train. So all we got was emails like, don't take parties on the train. It's like, yeah, I wasn't going. Thanks. But if you went down to the city and you went down to like Shinsaibashi or the Triangle Park area, You'd see like a few dozen people wearing costumes and it was like fun, you know, people hung out. It was like, and because it's Japan, you can drink outside, it's fine. Over the years that I've been here, the crowds have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger, and Halloween has gotten more and more normalized, like corporation wise. So it's like there's merchandise everywhere, all the theme parks have Halloween specials, almost every restaurant or like a uh, sweet shop has like a Halloween special, like everything's in Halloween. So, if you go down to Shinsaibashi on Halloween now, it's just like there are hundreds of people there. You can't walk around Shinsaibashi because it's just full of people in costumes. So, I mean, look, I don't have a costume anyway, and I don't know if I'm capable of making costumes at this point. But even if I did have a costume, I don't think I would go to Shinsaibashi because it's just, it's just too many people. I would go somewhere private, maybe a private party or something. Meanwhile, though, in Tokyo... They tried to have, like, an official Halloween event for the last couple of years. Like, they even gave out special garbage bags that said, like, you know, bring your garbage home because they don't want people littering. So, last year didn't go so well. There were a lot of people drinking. There were people who had some problems. There were some, let's be honest, mostly men. There were a lot of men who got rowdy. There was a lot of video footage of men getting real rowdy. And, like, some people, like, overturned a car and, like, went crazy. And, you know... Whatever, everyone's been caught, everyone's been found, everyone had to deal with, you know, the police. But, so now, this year, they're very much, like, in clampdown mode. So, officially, in Tokyo, you are not allowed to drink alcohol in Shibuya on Halloween. And they've asked all restaurants and convenience stores in the area to please not sell alcohol. And so today, a lot of them came forward, like, yes, we're not selling alcohol on Halloween. Or the next day, even. And I'm just like... It's so wild. It's so wild how I've, not only was I here for Halloween's growth and explosion into mainstream, it's now facing the mainstream backlash. 
where it's like, oh, we, we did too much. Too much Halloween. We need less Halloween now. Anyway, it's only Shibuya, and who gives a shit, because I'm not going out for Halloween anyway, but man. I'd be worried if that happened here in Osaka, because that was, again, one thing that I really looked forward to every Halloween was just going around, having a nice drink, meeting some nice people, taking pictures, and just enjoying myself. Anyway, tough luck, Shibuya. I think I'll go to bed now. Good night, everybody. I love you.